Hi, I'm Pete Lesher, Chief Curator for the Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum, and welcome back to A Chesapeake Treasure. Today we're featuring the museum's newest exhibition, On Land and On Sea, A Century of Women in the Rosenfeld Collection. This is a traveling exhibition organized by Mystic Seaport Museum up in Mystic, Connecticut, and features the selections from this fabulous collection of photographs taken by two generations of the Rosenfeld family. Morris Rosenfeld and his son Stanley over the course of most of the 20th century. They were famous as yachting photographers, but the Margaret Anderson who organized this, this exhibition and a, and a book drawn from it, looked for women and how this collection told the story of, of women's progress through the 20th century. It wasn't what the photographers had originally set out to do, but there's a rich story here regardless to be found. There is just one photograph in this exhibition from the Chesapeake Bay, and it is the one, the one that we're looking at right now, a photograph of cruise, a cruise along boat being tested uh, probably for a publicity shot in 1955. Cruise along boats were built in Solomons, Maryland, uh, beginning at the end of World War II. And by 1955, this was an employee owned company. And with both men and women in the workforce. And I almost wonder whether these might have been company employees who were posing as models in this, what I think is a 22 foot model of, uh, of one of the, the cruise along boats. Interestingly enough, steered by a tiller, not a wheel. Uh, cruise along boats would, would continue to be manufactured in Solomon's. They were bought out by a larger company uh, and, and then went out of business just a few years after this, leaving, leaving a huge hole in, in Solomon's, Maryland and the economy for, for Calvert County. But here at this point in time, they were at their height and these women being used as models are showing women in command, women at the helm, uh, even and perhaps inspiring other women to take charge. Let's take a look at a second photograph in this collection. In this image from 1933, Ruth Herring is racing a hydroplane in Chicago for the, the, the uh, Century of Progress ex, uh, exposition. The hydroplane is powered by a, an outboard motor, and you can see that she is just skimming over the surface of the water. The water isn't completely smooth. There's some chop here. And in fact, that would cause her some problems because on this particular race or later in this day, she flipped the boat. This was a dangerous sport, still is, um, and, uh, and of course failed to finish that particular heat. Ruth Herring was, uh, it is actually not surprising, or not entirely surprising, to find her at the helm of a hydroplane. Uh, women were involved in hydroplane racing as, as pilots of these boats, and particularly for these smaller classes of outboard-driven hydroplanes where weight was at a premium. If you think about horse racing, Jockeys are always very lightweight, and so too, in this class of hydroplane racing, they wanted people who were not heavy. You were more competitive if you were lightweight. And Ruth Herring, in fact, was at one point going into this race a, uh, a world record holder for the speed in this particular class. Uh, this one, however, uh, would come to, this particular race would come to naught. Uh, nevertheless, Rosenfeld was out there to capture this really rather daring woman uh, racing a hydroplane in 1933, and his photo would later appear on the pages of the Rudder magazine, one of the leading magazines of yachting of its day. Throughout this exhibition, we have women showing, we see women in various roles as caregivers, women as workers, women in recreational roles in sports, uh, all showing how much progress was made in the roles of women through the 20th century. Thank you for joining me today on the Chesapeake Treasure.